Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family. Just thank you for the love and support that you've been sending me on the days that I'm making my videos, even on the days that I'm not. You know, you're sending me confirmation as well as validation that, you know, we are not alone and these are not just things that I'm going through, but you're going through them as well. So I greatly appreciate appreciate that so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when i'm about to upload my next video if you feel like you're comfortable enough please drop me a line or two i love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video you're just up telling me about your impact the gift now it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction also as well if you can also um you know share the videos if it gives you good vibes or you know good information that you feel that somebody needs to hear it at that time it'll greatly be appreciated while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit and thank you once again for the love and support that you've been giving giving me towards my channel and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video Today, my motivation video is, I mean my motivation, my meditation video is motiv motivate peace and positive energy. Awaken yourself, inner guide of meditation, spiritual healing music, and I will post that link in the description box below. Um, and today, my video is about even, uh, Twin Flame 101, Twin Flames, even, even in spiritual union. The separation anxiety gets real oh yes y'all I you know I didn't make any videos yesterday but I also told you the other day you know it just depends on how I feel if I'm gonna make any videos cuz I'm trying to go about it a different way cuz if you know you've been with me for a while you know I go hard about making those videos almost every day and you know I was doing live and I keep telling you I'm gonna put live back up and I am it's just going through so many things and it's like so different now since the spiritual union and you know, just trying to do a lot of things at once. I get really, 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 really tired. And it's just like, you know, people think, you know, if you don't do uh, videos, they, some people think it's easy just to get in front of your your camera and make videos. But it's just like with doing the things that I do, I put a lot of energy in it so I can be able to spread it towards other people. You know, a lot of people can feel my energy doing the videos. And that mess is hard because you're, you know, you're, you know, you're asking from it from the powers that be, you know, universe to give you the information to place upon the video. At least I, that's what I do. I don't know about anybody else that does the same thing I do, but um, just being able to do that, it takes a lot of energy to be able to do it. And so uh, it's just like after going through this spiritual union, it's been a very good blessing, but it also it has this little fine print of, uh, especially if you're, um, if your twin flame is no longer in the living, you know, they're in the spiritual form. Mine is very, it's very different because number one, my dad's energy is very strong, very, very strong. And with him being in a passing and also being a celebrity, it's been very hard to deal with it. You know, he always keeps telling me, Rosalind, don't cry, baby, don't cry. You know, I'm here. But it's just like missing him in the physical sense. It, 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 it has its moments. And it's like, you know... Um, there's people that I talk to on Facebook. There's also a lot of times that I had to really shy away from Facebook or any kind of social media because I'm starting to see him everywhere, you know, and it's just like, I love to see that, but it can get overwhelming at times because it's like a constant reminder that he's not in a physical sense. And it has been really hard, you know, going through that is it, that separation anxiety. It really does a kicker towards me. And I try to be positive about certain situations, but you know, if you've been with me for a while, you have seen me in my moments where, you know, I cry, you know, especially when I think about my dad and, you know, knowing that he's there to support me in a meta metaphysical way as well as the spiritual way. His essence is there, but it's just like if, any, you know, if you lose your father or whatever, you know, that's a hard pill to swallow. You know, um, that's why I tell people I, I give my love out, especially if you lost a loved one. But it, it seems like it's a lot easier when it's never easy to lose somebody. So don't 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 think I'm saying that. But I'm just saying with him being a celebrity and he doing what he does, you know, um, it's been really hard to deal with, especially when I have not 
had that connection and be able to be with him and knowing, you know, that my family was behind that of me not meeting him, you know, because I always used to tell my family that was my worst fear of knowing I knew one of my, my parents with me being adopted and never having a chance to meet them before they passed. And they made sure I lived out that fear. So, you know, that was a really hard pill to swallow going through that. So it was just like I was going to make videos yesterday. But I had my moments. I cried on and off yesterday, you know, saying, you know, to the universe and telling God, I really felt like it wasn't fair for me to have to go do that. You know, how is nobody not held responsible for my dad's death? You know, why are people able to exploit his death? Like, don't allow him to rest in peace. Let him pass with dignity. You know, they keep putting out more and more things about him. But it's not really nothing being said now. But it's just like, you know, with people in these, these fan page groups, there's a lot of times that's why I stay away from social media a lot because some people bring out stuff like all these crazy links that people, you know, I feel like if you couldn't say something about this person while they were alive, don't don't say nothing about them being dead. You know, that's why it's like starting to make me mad when I'm seeing stuff about Michael. And it's just like before I've, I've had dreams about Michael and, and all of a sudden I was wondering why all of a sudden I had a dream about Michael a few weeks ago. And he gave me a rose and said, Rosalind, I hope you know I didn't do anything to these children like they said they are. I said, I know you didn't, Michael. Why are you saying that? And he never would answer me. And all of a sudden now I'm starting to see more and more stuff coming out about him. And I'm like, why didn't y'all say this when he was living? Why would y'all wait to exploit this man after he's passed? He can't he can't come back and, you know, say his you know, his side he's already passed. But why would you do that? You know, what after he passed away. And I really hate it when people do that. It just seems like they're trying to run for clout when it comes to stuff like that. But um, dealing with this twin flame thing is it's a blessing, but also it's not it doesn't have as easy moments to it because you know we do have a fine print when you deal with uh, your twins. They have a moment of you know loving, caring, you know um, sharing each other's feelings, the emotions that come in between you and your twin. But if it's one that you know who has passed, is is it's a hard thing because it feels like a part of you is missing. You know, even though he keeps telling me, Rosalind, I'm here, I'm here. Please stop, you know, saying that. <laughs> you know, baby, please stop saying that. You know, I'm here. And I, I understand that. But it's like being able to, I, I mean, the way I only can see him at time is, is in my videos. You know, even though I can think about him all the time on special times we have, we've had that we shared. But, you know, it's just for me missing that part of him. I can feel like that's a blessing to be able to look at the pictures and, you know, videos and stuff that, you know, he is left behind, but it has its moments as well, you know, because it's, it's already hard for somebody who really cared about him, that loved his music, for them listening to his music, and they have had, you know, his music help them get through hard times, but just think about the person that is the actual family that has to deal with that, you know, so it, it's just like, it feels like I'm alone in a bubble a little bit when it comes to certain things like that. But it's also a blessing as well to be able to know that, you know, a lot of people care about my father. But it's just like, you know, I would like to know y'all's opinions about, you know, how you feel like your separation anxiety can get you. Because I don't know if it's just me that I'm going through this. Well, I know other people when they're in their twin flame uh, situation and they're not in that physical union, you know, how does it make you feel when you're going through that, you know, missing and longing for them, because it's just like, um, you know, as me being a daughter, you know, you want your dad to hold you and, you know, tell you everything's going to be okay, and I'm really trying not to cry, but um, it has its moments, you know, it has its moments, even though we're spiritually connected, it has brought us a lot closer, but the, the feeling of the separation has really gotten to me, um, where it is it becomes unbearable sometimes because of the physical part of not being able to be there you know and it's becoming hard it becomes hard and I told y'all, um, I keep telling myself I'm not going to cry because I really hate it when y'all see me cry because I don't want y'all thinking I'm trying to get attention from that it's weird so um you know, actually going through that has been hard, you know, and it's just, it's, it's came to that point where, you know, I, I cry about him a lot more some at times, you know, because I, 
his pictures all over the place. People share his pictures a lot. And there are sometimes I have to just get away from uh, Facebook because other than YouTube, I just do Facebook. And it's just a lot. I've been seeing his pictures a lot more now. And it's like, I don't know if it's just confirmation and he's always there, but it, it, it breaks my heart at the same time. It just reminds me of the physical. It's not here anymore. And it hurts. And I know he always tells me, baby, please don't cry. You know, he hates it when I cry. And I'm just like, I'm sorry. That's how I feel. You know, so that's the reason why I didn't make videos yesterday. Because I, like I tell y'all, when I feel this way, I try not to show that too much. Because I don't want that out there where people can feel that as well but you know you go through anxiety like that you go through it you know there's days that I still grieve you know because I don't have closure I don't um it's just a blessing that I'm able to um uh, have that 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 essence of him that you know he doesn't allow people too many people to see and that that's also a blessing too but it's just the the physical sense of him passing is really got to me but you know I, I said I'm not gonna do that so I, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this video short so I hope y'all have a good weekend I'm gonna do a couple more videos but I'm gonna just give myself time to collect myself a little bit but I hope y'all have a blessed safe weekend much love to you Buse. I know I pronounced your name right but I was like I know I thought I pronounced the name right so I hope I got it right this time so much love to you and I hope y'all have a blessed safe weekend and you know drop me a line and let me know how you know your separation and anxiety has been you know with your twin i would love to know your opinion about it so much love to you drop me a line like and subscribe press that button so you know when i'm about to upload my next video and i will see you later know that you are truly blessed highly favored and forever loved and knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days and i'll see you on my next video peace and be wild